Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections. And today I have a completed album that I'd like to share with you. I've used lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts, and I'll be sure to list those products down in the description box along with over on my blog, which you'll find a link for that in the description box as well. And the paper collection that I used is a new one from Knitwit Collections. It's called Happy Collection. It's a beautiful, shabby, chic, lots of flowers, very beautiful colors collection. So let's go through this. I also have a start to finish on this album. So for those of you that like to watch the process of it, I'll play that here in a moment. Otherwise, I'll just do a flip through of it. This album is seven and a half by seven and a quarter. It has six pages. I used Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge System. Um, I revised it just a little bit by taking the wings off. I gave myself a 3 8 of an inch gusset. And if you'd like to see how I make my mini albums, I'll put a link in the description box for a mini album tutorial for that. As you can see, I used black cardstock. I thought it went great with this gorgeous paper. Here's the spine. It's a two and a half inch spine, I believe. This is a gorgeous element from the paper collection. I layered it on four different layers of cardstock, so it has some dimension to it. Here's the back. I think this is just gorgeous. This is one of their elements. I added it onto the polka dot paper. And for the front of my album, I used one of those frames, wooden frames that you can find at Michael's. I think I paid like $1.50 for it. I spray painted it white and then I also spray painted it blue. And some of the white is showing here, which I think looks really pretty. I don't know how well that'll pick up on camera right here in the corner. I used a aqua color spray paint. Then I added these flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts around it, some magnolias, some wild roses, some open roses, hip rosebuds, and some of these pearl bead spray. I love using these. Again, same things over here. I used some two-tone rose leaves and some white leaves underneath. I also use the cabochons from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love these. There's one there and one right here. For the sentiment on the front, I used some of the digital paper. This here is digital paper. I just sized it down to fit inside this frame. And then this is one of their di digital stamps. It says smile and be happy. I also used several of the Nouveau crystal drops in white. They make them look like enamel dots. Here's some here. And I just let them dry overnight. And then right here as well. I think Knitwit Collections paper collections and Wild Orchid Crafts flowers and products go so well together. So for my pages, I added a bracket edge just because this is my, my favorite bracket edge. They're not pockets, they're not open, it's just a bracket edge. And mostly on them, I did one side for a photo mount and the other side for a pocket. So here's the front here, I actually did two pockets. I used one of the large sentiments and you'll see throughout I, I matted everything in the black cardstock. Down here I have some of the flower clusters that come in the collection added with some flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love the look of that. Here are some sweetheart blossoms. And I also use some flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts along with some of the Nouveau drops. I use this gorgeous pleated box ribbon trim, again from Wild Orchid Crafts, and this flower trim and then this flat pearl trim. Everything will be listed for you in the description box. So to this bottom pocket, I have two mats using some of the paper from the collection and a little um, ticket and a banner. I just size everything to what I need. If you don't know how to use digital papers, um, I'll also link a video down in the description box that shows how you can customize digital papers to use them for actual projects um, if you want to use them outside of just digital scrapbooking, like meaning making a card or a scrapbook page or mini album from it. So here's this gorgeous paper. I made a large photo mat, great for journaling and photos. I added one of these flat back ivory heart hearts from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love these. You see me use these a lot, along with one of the banners. And then here is a tag that I cut out from the Cameo. I added some beautiful trims from Wild Orchid Crafts, some seam binding, and this little charm that says love. I got this in the wedding section at Michael's. 
some more of this gorgeous paper that matches this here. But as you can see, I just sized it down. That's one of the many reasons I love digital. And for those of you that ask um, for, sometimes I add Mod Podge to the outside of my album to protect it. This time I use the Mod Podge acrylic, clear acrylic spray. So it does protect the outside. It's not, if something gets spilt on it, it's going to ruin the album, regardless whether it's digital or regular paper. So I just use the acrylic um, sealer or sometimes brush the Mod Podge on. That helps with like dirty fingers, things like that. So we flip over, I have a pocket here. It says smile and be happy. It's that same digital stamp. This here is also a, an element that you can either cut out separate or add it to your paper. Here I added it to my paper and printed it out. I have some mats here. And this gorgeous flat back pearl trim again from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here's a tag that I had cut from the Cameo. I added some of the paper collection and some white seam binding beautiful tags that come in the collection. These are great to add photos to or journaling and I love their paint chips. I mention this every time that I use one. This one here says being happy never goes out of style and it has the little patterns there. These are great to add names, dates, or just leave as decoration. I love these. A large photo mat on this side. Look how gorgeous this paper is. What I, I did throughout the album is I used their pattern papers in the back and then I tried to use the flower paper on the front of each page. So here I have a little belly band with a pull out mat, great for journaling photos, and half of one of the organza rose trimming in the large from Wild Orchid Crafts. Love, love, love these. On here, this is again from Wild Orchid Crafts. It's one of their mixed frames. I added one of the elements from the paper pack that says you make me happy, some little pink mist open roses, and some pearls. I love these frames, the resin frames. On this side, I left the photo mat with just a little bow from the same paper collection and one of the um, flat back flower embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts. Large photo mat. On this side, I did a little diagonal corner added a couple mats to it. Here's a journal saying that says, make someone happy, then you'll be happy too. This collection is so pretty. And it matches very well with the Hydrangeas collection. You'll see that I added a little of that in here as well. So here I added the flowers onto this corner paper and printed it out. And then I also added a few of the layers to give it a little bit dimension, along with the beautiful Sweetheart Blossoms. The Sweetheart Blossoms come in several colors. Um, they have different tones, pinks and white, blues, all different colors. So on this side, I have a large photo mat with a little journaling card that comes in the collection, added a bow and a little cabochon. This journal says, or this little label says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. So I use that to hold my mat. And then I have this beautiful mat with one of these flowers cut out. And like I said, you can, print them directly onto your photo or your paper and print them out or cut them out separate. Here I cut it out separate so it's a little bit dimensional. And then I added the Nouveau Drops in white. I'm addicted to those Nouveau Drops. I love them, crystal drops. On this side I have a little pocket that I designed the paper here. The paper was just this green paper. I added this cluster that comes in the collection and then I added this digital stamp that says a good life Happy, a good life is a collection of happy moments. Dennis Waitley, and then I added some of the crystal drops, a bow with another one of those gorgeous ivory hearts. To the pocket, I have a couple more journaling cards. This one says, be jolly, be joyful, be merry, be sunny, be cheery, be happy. And I love that everything coordinates together. This gorgeous paper here. Another beautiful photo mat. On this side, this is one of their elements that I cut out. I backed it on some black cardstock, added my mats to them. Here's the two different mats, gorgeous. So those just tuck behind there. This will hold photos behind it as well. And then I use some of the pink mist open roses along with some of the gorgeous rose leaves. 
another diagonal pocket on this side this one's larger I added this cluster to the corner printed it out and then I added a bow with one of the flower embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts and then to the pocket I have a couple more journaling cards stunning collection look at this pretty paper in the background and then this one says smile and be happy and then I just cut this out large so it's a ticket when someone else's happiness is your happiness that is love tuck those in the pocket and then on the last page is a large photo mat with this is from the hydrangeas collection so as you can see it goes so well together and then I have this gorgeous paper here I added another cutout collection of the flowers and that is left open in the corner so a photo can slide underneath it I don't know how well that shows but that's left open so a photo can slide right underneath this photo mat and here I have another one of those little tags or tickets a bow with one of the ivory hearts and then several of the crystal drops throughout love how that turned out so I hope you've enjoyed this flip through if you'd like to stay to stay tuned for the mostly start to finish I did not film making of the binding but again I do have a video showing how I make my binding how I make my mini albums in general so Check the description box for that and check the description box for links to both Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections along with all the products used. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and you'll also find more photos on my blog as well. Thanks so much for watching. I thought I'd quickly pop back in to show you these flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. These are fairly new. They are the Pretty Flory flowers and I just want to show you these up close. I have shown these in a video before. Look at the colors and look how many you get in those. And they have different sizes. There are smaller ones, larger ones. I didn't use any of these in the album today, but I'll link these as well if you're interested. These are MKX210. And look at these. I just got these in. These are just stunning. I hope you can see that without too much of a glare. These are MKX326. And you get a ton of them. They are so gorgeous. Again, thanks for watching.
Thank you.